Hello, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration. I'm a Google Developer Expert for G Suite and Google Apps Script. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can populate answers in your Google Forms from Google Sheets. So a school is trying to create a Google Form where students can register their details. And here's how the final form would look like. So you have a drop-down list of countries, the subjects, and finally, you have a multiple choice question for picking the name of the teacher. Now, creating such a form in Google Forms is super simple, except for one thing. It involves a lot of typing. So, for instance, there are 250 countries in this list of countries alone and it would take some time to manually type each name into this Google Form. The other downside is that your data may change at a later point of time. So for instance, some teachers may leave while others may join. And this list of teachers in the form will have to be updated as well. So when your Google form has so many choices, it is really difficult to maintain such a form manually. So let's try something different. Let me quickly create a blank Google form here for student registration. Now the country field would be a drop down. For the subject field, we'll use the checkbox type of question because uh, students can pick one or more subjects. And for the teacher name, again, it will be a multiple choice question where only one answer is allowed. So our basic uh, skeleton of the Google form is ready. It obviously has no choices available at this time, which we will be populating later using data from Google Sheets. So here's my blank Google Sheet and let me add a few columns. Now the important thing to note is that these column titles should be exactly similar to the titles in your Google Form. Next, we'll add choices for each question. Now, to save some time, I already have them in a text file, so I'll just copy paste them here. So our spreadsheet data is ready and now we need to write a Google script that will upload this data from our Google Sheet to our questions inside Google Forms. So I'll go to the Tools menu inside Google Sheets and then choose Script Editor. We'll write a script that will automate the process of filling all these choices rather than you having to write them manually. Now here I'll write a simple function in App Script to get the answers from Google Sheet. The default uh, sheet name is Sheet1, so let's rename it to something more meaningful. Let's say Form Data.
Now we could use get values also here for pulling the data from the Google Sheet but I prefer using get display values since it will return the sheet data as text and it is in the same format that you see inside the sheet. Now what we want to do is we want to transform this data from Google Sheets into a JSON object and the structure of this JSON object would be something like this. So you have the keys as the question titles and all the choices of this question will be stored in an array. Let's see how this data looks like. So I'll quickly add a debugger statement here and then click that debug icon to view the data in the logs. Now let's write another function that will populate this data into our Google Forms. So let's call this uh, function populate Google Forms. First we need the Google Form ID and that you can obviously get from the URL of your Google Forms editor. Next we use the get items method to grab a list of all questions that are part of this Google form. Now we will iterate through each question but we only want to handle those questions for which data is available in the Google sheet. So we will grab the question title and then we will make a check to see if that question exists in our choices uh, object or not. If we have um, choices available for that question in our Google Sheet, we move to the next step. I uh, will check what type of a question it is because uh, choices can be available for drop downs, check boxes, and uh, multiple choice questions. So we are essentially passing our array of uh, choices to the set choice values method and this will set all the choices for that particular question in one go. We'll repeat this for the other type of questions and that is the list which is for drop down and also for the multiple choice question. We are almost done here so let's test whether our populate google forms function is working or not. Unfortunately it throws an error saying that item as checkbox item is not a function. So if I look at my original google form you can see that the list of countries has been populated but the subjects in the teacher name has not been populated yet. Uh, well, it turns out that uh, the checkbox item, the B, I've written in caps, it should be in small and that should fix the issue, I think. Yes, it does. And as you can see, all my questions have been populated using data from Google Sheets. How easy is that? So the good part about this script is that I can change the data in my Google Sheet and I can run the script again and automatically the choices in the Google form are updated. Now if you need to frequently update this uh, Google form using data from Google Sheets, it, it takes some work to go to the script and then run it manually there. So we'll try to simplify that process as well by adding a little button here in the sheet itself. 
So I'll go to the insert menu and create a new drawing. And here in this canvas, I'll try to draw a shape that resembles a button. I'll give some text so that we know what this button does behind the scenes. Perfect. Now my script that is populating the Google Forms is called Populate Google Forms. So I'll just copy the function name. And there you see a little three dot menu in the button. Just click that and click on assign script and type this function name there. Save your changes and uh, whenever you need to update your Google form, just update your Google sheet and click this button and automatically the stuff would be updated in the background. Uh, let's make one final change to our Google script. We really don't know what happens when the button is clicked, whether the script is running or not. So what I'll do is I'll add a little progress a window to our uh, script as well. That will tell us whenever the script is done updating our Google form. So I'll click the update button again. And there you see a little window in the lower right corner that says that the Google form has been updated. I'll also leave a link to this Google script in the video description. Thank you.